Okay, uh, so this is problem number four. And the question is, what are we... So this is a man, and this is the edge of the building, right? There's a plank, and he's walking the plank, but the, the plank is not uh, tied down. So at some point when he gets here, this plank will start to tip over, and so we want to know how far away he can go. And that's what we're looking for, how far, right? And so we call that X because we don't know. But it's a distance. So let's assume that he walks until about here. Okay, and we'll call that X. And this is not to scale. So that's the distance that we're looking for. It's in meters. Okay, And his weight is going to be acting here because... By the time he walks there, that's where his weight will be. So this is your FG of the man, right? Now, the other um, force that we have is the weight of the plank. And it says that the plank is um, 100 kilograms. So this is the plank. Where will the, the weight be? In the middle, right? So let's say about here. Here you have the weight of the plank, which is 100 kilograms times the acceleration due to gravity. And how far is that here? Well, if it's in the middle, this is 5 meters. So half of that is uh, 2.5 meters, right? That's how far away from the edge it is. And we see that the plank is uh, 2 meters away from the edge, okay? so. Uh, how do we solve this? We have the given is that the plank weighs 100 kilograms and the man weighs 50 kilograms. We should really write that down. Uh, 50 kilograms. Okay. All right. And so, um, now look at this. It says here, before the plank begins to tip. So that means equilibrium right? Because it's before it tips. After it tips, it's moving, and the, the guy's dead. So at equilibrium, the forces of the torque are equal to zero, which means um, clockwise is equal to counterclockwise. Okay, I just want to remind you that the torque we're using is going to be mass. So it's going to be the radius times the mass times g, which is the acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so which one is clockwise? Let's look at this arrow here. The pivot is here at the edge of the building. So that force is going to go this way, and that is clockwise. So let's write that down. We have the distance... Uh, of the man is x in meters and the mass is 50 kilograms times g is equal to this one will be going this way and that is counterclockwise so the distance from here to here ooh, we don't know but it is this length minus that one so 2.5 meter minus 2.0 meter, all right? Because look, this is 2.5, this is 2, so this part here is 0.5. Okay, and the weight is 100 kilograms. There, I mean, that's the mass times G. Okay, because G is multiplied to both sides, they cancel. And if we want to get x, we have to divide both sides by 50 kilograms. And again, it's good that you go step by step so that you don't make a mistake. x is equal to, and then you just have to solve for that, right? And so it is um, 2.5. 2.5 minus 2 equals... Uh, times 100 divided by uh, 50. 
and the answer is x is 1.0 and kilogram and kilogram cancel so it's meter okay and I've done this twice so check 